Welcome back to Be The Man. Today is September the 22nd here in the South. Very exciting day. We expect to be able to harvest just a little bit of honey from our colony. We're only gonna take one frame, about 20 pounds. I've invited Miss Be The Man to, uh, to be in the video today because this is our 35th anniversary. So if you decide you wanna be a beekeeper, this is the kinds of things you have to do even on your anniversary. So again, what we're gonna to do today is harvest one frame. You'll notice I've got a honey super on top. Maybe it'll be there. We'll see what happens when we get over there. I'm gonna take one frame out, gonna get it in the, in the box successfully, get it up to the house and harvest one frame. We'll leave the rest for them for the rest of the year. It's been a great year of uh, watching our colony grow. So we look forward to this harvest and we'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you. All right, uh, we're inside the hive at this point and uh, we've got two or three or four. Actually, we've got a lot more than that frames full. I'm gonna look for one frame full of just capped honey and uh, we're gonna, we're gonna harvest that one and get the bees off of it and then put that in the box. So that's where we're gonna be. So the goal right now is to find a frame of capped honey. All right, if you notice down in the hive, we got a lot of brood and honey up around the top on that frame. Uh, there's brood in this one with honey around the top. So we still got a good active queen. They've capped most of the honey on this side. Uh, so that's gonna be good. Uh, so I'm just gonna put this back in. We know the queen's active. We see new brood, uh, we see honey. So uh, we're gonna pretty much leave it like this, except if you can bring me that black, uh, that new frame. Well, if you look right here, look how deep that honey is they've made on this frame, almost really double deep, if you will, and you see nice, fresh honey right there. This is really uh, spectacular. It's really uh, a neat part of God's creation to be able to create honey out of this work they've done. All right, we have harvested almost a perfect frame of honey. We've got most of the bees off. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and brush that bee off. Uh, brush the other one off. And uh, we're gonna take this up to the bee kitchen and, uh, and get the honey out of it. So it's been a great day. Uh, God's blessed us with about 20 pounds, about 15 pounds probably, of fresh honey from the honey bee. And they've probably got 70 or 80 pounds for themselves. So for Be The Man, God bless and have a great day. All right, for Be The Man, we're in uh, Be The Man kitchen at the moment. We've got one frame, beautiful frame of honey here. Uh, since we're only harvesting one frame, we're not, uh, we don't have a uh, extractor. <laughs> so we're gonna extract it the old fashioned way. We're gonna use a very sharp knife to uncap the honey. We're gonna let drain in here, then we'll uh, use cheesecloth and uh, other methods to strain all of it out. And then we'll put this frame back in the hive here in the next day or so, and they'll clean it up and they'll reuse it be easier than them making a, making a frame with comb uh, out of scratch. So we're gonna try our best basically just to cut the cap off. This is all beeswax on top of it and they don't cap it until the moisture is about 17%. And they won't cap it if it's 15%, they won't cap it if it's 19%, they cap it if it's 17%. And so you know this is good, that's what keeps it from fermenting. So we're gonna get it off and we're gonna let it uh, just drain into the pan. And uh, hopefully when we're all said and done we'll have uh, seven or eight pounds of good pure honey from harvest number one. So if we be the man, uh, we'll check back in a minute. Hopefully we'll have some honey in the pan. Look at this, folks. This is just pure honey. Um, God created the honeybee, and the honeybee makes honey. Isn't this really, just look at that. I mean, that is unbelievable, really, that you can see what the bee did. It took those bees, one bee, and its lifetime makes about a twelfth of a teaspoon of honey and uh, bee lives 36 days, so this took thousands and thousands of bees 
um, and they probably flew 100,000 miles to produce this amount of honey. And this is just one frame and one hive, and uh, we're, uh, we're here to enjoy basically the fruits of their labor. But isn't that something? And uh, it's too bad the camera doesn't show smell, but uh, if you've ever smelt fresh, pure honey, and I thought I had, but this is the first that I've ever seen myself. And uh, so it's all gonna drip and drain. Basically, all I've done here is take the wax <clears throat> off the top where they capped it. And the cool thing is one thing that the bees, <clears throat> they make this honey out of nectar from flowers. They make the wax themselves. They don't have any byproduct, anything they collect. That just comes out of themselves. Each bee can make wax for three or four days and then they move on to another job. So imagine how many bees it took to make that much wax and, they, and to know to cap that at exactly the right time. They cap it too soon, it'll ferment. Don't cap it soon enough, bad stuff happens. So we're gonna let this drain. And uh, all I can say is uh, God created a beautiful world and even an insect, even a bug, is part of God's creation with a great grand plan we're gonna be able to get quite a bit more out of this. This still probably weighs three pounds or so. So it'll drain a lot. We'll squeeze the rest out of the honey. And out of that honey, we're gonna make some candles. So we're gonna have fun with that honey as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, we got a little bit of everything to use with this. And then we'll put this back on. The bees will clean it. It'll save them some time. They won't have to make all that wax next time. So if we be the man, remember one day we're all gonna die, but every other day we're gonna live. So God bless you. Have a great day.